Next, we will discuss how to find the limits of power functions using the analytic approach. First, let's figure out what does a power function, also known as a monomial function, look like. All power functions have this form, a non-zero number c multiplied by x raised to some natural power n. The number in the front is called the coefficient, and the power of x is called the degree. Here are some examples of power functions. Note that the coefficient can be either positive or negative, and the degree can be either even or odd. What makes power functions nice is that there are only four possible behaviors, depending on the sign of the coefficient and whether the degree is even or odd. You can follow the link in the description of the video to figure out the four patterns for yourself. But here's the summary of them. What does that mean to us in terms of finding the limits of power functions? The behavior of a power function with a positive coefficient and odd degree can be described with the following limits. f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to negative infinity. f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to positive infinity. And for any point in between, f approaches its output at that point because power functions are continuous. The behavior of a power function with a positive coefficient and even degree can be described with the following limits. f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to negative infinity, f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to positive infinity, and for any point in between, f approaches its output at that point, because power functions are, again, continuous. Similarly, the behavior of a power function with a negative coefficient and odd degree can be described with the following limits. f approaches to positive infinity as x approaches to negative infinity, f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to positive infinity, and for any point in between again, f approaches its output at that point, because power functions are continuous. And finally, the behavior of a power function with a positive coefficient and odd degree can be described with the following limits. f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to negative infinity. f approaches to negative infinity as x approaches to positive infinity. And for any point in between, again, f approaches its output at that point, because, again, power functions are continuous. As a result, at any given moment, we should be able to associate any power function with the appropriate limit statement based only on the coefficient and the degree, as the following chart summarizes. Instead of memorizing the chart, try to understand the behavior of the graph for different combinations of degrees and coefficients, and then sketch a quick draft of the graph to help you with finding the limit. We discussed how to find the limit of a power function using the analytic approach.